Hi, Aries, getting ready to do your reading. All right, Aries, sun, moon, and rising. All right. Three of wands. So something new may be coming in. That's temperance. So again, maybe being patient. The moon, something is going on possibly behind the scenes. Moon can also represent fears. This is the five of cups. So yeah, I get, I'm feeling that you're waiting for someone to come back or something to happen, but you're losing maybe some hope or you're worried it's not going to happen the way you want it to. Let's see, page of cups, so a message. So some of you are waiting for someone to either communicate with you, maybe you want to meet someone new, maybe you've been dating um, and things just don't feel like they're working out. Let's see what's coming in though with the three of wands. Okay, this could be also a Pisces with the moon card. So, okay, you have the nine of wands in reverse. So you're tired of putting up with someone or something. You're ready to do something about it. You don't want to wait any longer. Yeah, you have the two of cups. So definitely this is a relationship. Now, oops, I dropped the next card, which is justice. All right, so but yeah, you're waiting for someone. You want an answer. You want to know what they want to do or what they're doing or what they're thinking, and you're frustrated. You were, I think you may be afraid things are not going to turn out the way you had hoped with Five of Cups. They're not going to turn out the way you want them to. This is the Four of Wands. You have the Page of Wands. So in this reading, if you're dealing with another fire sign. Now this could be you. Maybe you're dealing with a fire sign or a water sign specifically. Also, we have Libra there. For some of you, this is a new beginning coming in that you've been frustrated, you've been waiting for. Um, you want justice. You want to know, again, like I said, you want to know, what are they thinking? What do they want with, with this? You're in the dark with the moon card. You don't know what's going on and you want answers. You do have the Four of Wands, which of course is a great card. It's about a new beginning. You have the King of Wands here with the Page of Cups. So again, coming in with an offer or wanting to just talk. And the Two of Cups up, up there, of course, is, is beautiful. So you've been waiting for someone. Now this might be someone new for some of you. Maybe some of you, I'm getting speed dating. I don't know if they do that anymore, but um, online dating is probably more accurate. But just dating in general and you're frustrated of not meeting the right people and you want to meet that uh, that one to settle down with or at least to get to know this is actually showing some positive energy for you so I'm gonna put one more card on the four of wands here next to the five of cups the knight of wands so you have a lot of fire energy going on so this could be a week um, of action a lot of wands. So maybe you take some action also. Maybe you get frustrated and there's something you can do. If you've been waiting for someone to communicate, maybe you just go ahead and start the conversation instead of waiting for them to do it. Because especially if you want to know exactly how someone feels. If this is someone that you've already know, maybe you work with them or you go to school with them and you want to know, how do they feel about me? Do they want to go out? I'm tired of waiting. This is showing for some of you that you may actually have some good luck by being the one to make the, the decision to pursue them, or at least to talk to them, all right? Let me put one more card on that. Whoops, something fell out. I'll show you in a minute. Let me put one card on the Nine of Wands. Okay, Seven of Swords. Okay, this is, okay. Okay, I think the King of Swords it has to do with the Seven of Swords because he fell out originally. You have, maybe you're getting rid of or you've left a air sign. I believe he was reversed. Um, so maybe your past, you've had a lot of heartbreak, or maybe you dealt with someone who was very mean. It could be a queen, doesn't matter, king or queen. But I feel like some of you carry that around with you, the Seven of Swords. I like this picture on this card. But um, I feel like this Seven of Swords has nothing to do with this reading. It more or less has to do with like your own fears, what's happened to you in the past, cheating. This King of Swords was the one that fell out. So you're with someone, doesn't have to be an air sign, who may have been cold or mean. And maybe this is why you're afraid to get hurt again. You're afraid to approach this person. But again, Seven of Swords can also be like, you don't show your true feelings, or they don't. Two, two swords are showing. It looks different in this card because there's two back here, but she's also carrying one. But anyways, yeah, she has five. Sorry. So she has, she's hiding 
Five of her swords. So you're hiding some of your feelings. You may be showing two swords. You may be showing some interest, or maybe this other person is showing a little bit of interest, but they're not showing you how they truly feel. So this can be frustrating. You know, that person where they may be, they're very friendly and flirtatious, and so you think maybe they like you, but you're not sure. You don't want to take the chance and feel stupid, but... Um, yeah, you want justice. You don't be in the dark anymore. Again, maybe it's an air sign since he did fall out, this King of Swords. Maybe this has nothing to do with someone in the past. Um, two different energies, though. I feel like this is someone in your past so that may have scarred you or, um, you know, hurt you in some way also, though. So it's like it's hard to approach someone new. Maybe they said or did something mean, so now it makes you, um, you're not as confident as you used to be or just uncomfortable. I'm not sure. It's going to vary for different people because I know the main message here is about someone looks like they're going to come forward finally and make an offer, meaning, you know, get to know you, talk, ask you out, or you're going to do this to them because you're tired of waiting. You feel a deep connection with this person. So I feel like this is a good week to maybe put your heart on your sleeve and say what you need to say so you don't have to keep carrying this around with you. So I'm going to leave it there. Have a great week, you guys, and take care.